Please be okay. Please be okay. Today we have an unboxing. There is one species in this box that I have never kept that I've always wanted to keep, but they're difficult to find and they're kind of expensive. So finally, this box was sent to me by One Love Tarantulas. One Love is owned by Tom and his wife Angel and they are an amazing team. They vend a whole bunch. If you're ever at an expo, you should check to see if they're there, but they're one of my favorite vendors for sure. Their customer service is amazing. Their tarantulas are amazing. Their selection is amazing. You, you'll love them. They're just great and they do have all these available on the site as of filming this but if you see a species you want I would grab it up really quick because sometimes when I do a video a vendor sells out of what I show very quickly anyway let's do this I'm always so nervous <laughs> when it comes to unboxings. Their packaging is always so good though. And yeah, they have a heat pack, which is great. It's kind of chilly out today. Well, it's like 50 degrees, but it's still cold to me. Oh, look, they're glittery. I don't have the glittery ones yet. These are so cool. So here are the goods packaged up so nicely. And then these are the enclosures we have for them behind me, but we'll talk more about those when we rehouse. Okay. Oh, are you guys ready? So first up we have an Avicularia gerensis. This is the Peru purple pink toe. Um, yeah, these are all gonna be slings. Avicularia purpua. Now this is the species that I was talking about, the Y diversipes. This is the Amazon sapphire. Oh my God, this is one of the most beautiful tarantulas. You see everybody talk about the T. celadonia. Don't get me wrong, T. celadonia is awesome, but so are these and these are more available and a little bit less expensive, but they still kind of are up there in that price range. But I'm really, really really happy to have this and these are supposed to be like a pretty decent sized sling so we'll see and then here is the jumping spider of course I wanted another jumping spider another regius let's start out with the jumping spider so these are the new Valentine's Day enclosures well these three are, but this one is actually a Halloween one that I repurpose for Valentine's Day. But yeah, so we are going to use these today. I am really, really happy with how they came out. I'll show you up more closely. So let's start off with this jumping spider one. Check this out. Here, let me take the door off so it's not as reflective. It is so cute. I did a little mushroom theme. I know we've done a lot of mushroom themes, but I thought this one was really cool because of this little hide I have back here. I made these little mushroom stairs and then just this piece of spider wood. Oh, and these vines up here, I actually made these vines by twisting like some like wire things I had that were a part of some like floral target thing. And it actually turned out really, really cool. So yeah, this is the medium tarantula cribs, Valentine's Day. God. Hi. You are about to have like the time of your life. The great thing about tarantula cribs is their ventilation is super tiny on these. This is awesome because she will have so much space. Let's try to get a look at that color though. Look at her. She has a little orange booty. All right, ma'am. Welcome to your new little <laughs> oh, don't worry, you'll grow into it. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so one down and three to go. We'll save the Y diversa piece for last. So let's do the purple pink toe. And I decided to use the tarantula cribs Halloween purple coffin because obviously purple pink toe but it's absolutely adorable. I love how this turned out and I just, I really love how all of these turned out. I put like little lavender in here. Here's some little water dishes that I used. Lots of little hiding spots. So yes, here's the purpua. There we are. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love little baby avicularia and I do watch out because they can and do jump. Already kind of purpley, huh? Ooh, look at your booty. Looks like we might even molt soon, huh? I absolutely love these, oh my gosh. Look at the little walk, oh my gosh. And by the way, if you are just a jumping spider keeper, like you've never kept tarantulas before, I will say that I think any of these options 
is like great for your first tarantula. And some people would say, oh no, avicularia are more sensitive. And while that might be true, I don't think they're really any more sensitive than a young jumping spider. <laughs> and let's go ahead and just fill up this little water dish. These water dishes are so cute. I got them from a tattoo supply on Instagram. And yeah, they are adorable and they are like the perfect dishes for slings. Really cool. So many adorable babies today. I think we are going to do the Avicularia jurensis in this enclosure. So this is one of the Valentine's Day ones. This is a small one and it is pink. It is the same pink color as the cat pack. So if you have that, this would match and look really cute next to it. And yeah, I added these really cute little flowers. I got these from Target like forever ago and I finally decided to use them and they look adorable in this. And also they have that coverage up there, which the Avicularia do like to make their little web tunnels at the very top. Another great thing about these enclosures too is that they don't open from the top, they open from the side. So yeah, these are like awesome for Avicularia. Of course, I did the little water dish down here as well. Lots of space, more space than you think from looking at it in the front. And then scratch and warp proof lids, so yeah. And of course, I didn't even mention this yet, but I am an affiliate with Tarantula Cribs. I have an affiliate code, it's CAT10, saves you 10% helps me out. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but I have a lot of new people every video, so I just wanna make sure they know. Okay, so let's do the Avicularia jurensis next. And I imagine that it will look pretty similar to the other Avicularia we just opened. They're very cool, very curious little guys. But yeah, they can be a little on the fragile side. I, but again, as long as you have experience with like a jumping spider, I do not see this being an issue for you. There we are. Oh yeah, I forgot they look like this. Look at you. Ready to go home? Okay. Avicularia are very not scary tarantulas. The only thing is they can move kind of fast, but they typically are just like very sweet and they walk kind of funny like that. <laughs> yeah, they just move their legs when they walk like so cute. Yeah, you are adorable. Let's go ahead and get you in your new little enclosure can web up. Go on. Oh, right on the flower. Perfect. And look how perfect that is. Two down. No, three down, one to go. So this enclosure is the red mini tarantula cribs Valentine's Day one. And yeah, it's the same as the medium. It's just smaller, transparent red background. I really like the red. And I did a pretty simple setup for this one. Um, I just thought it would be cute with a couple little mushrooms there at the bottom, pink water dish. If you like using mushrooms, then the red color is just great. Oh, I'm most nervous about this one because this is like, oh, moment of truth, okay. Please be okay, please be okay. Be okay, be okay. Moment of truth. Oh, hello, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Bolty, bolty, bolty. Bolty, bolty, bolty. Ah! Okay, 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 there you go. <laughs> of course, the one that I'm most excited about immediately starts panicking. Here we are. <gasps> you are so cute. It looks like this one even recently molted, possibly. Cannot stress it enough. Look at that color. Come on. I mean, I'm a black tarantula girly, but this is so pretty, and they just go through so many beautiful color phases. I'm so Happy to finally have one. This is my first one ever, ever, ever. Thank you so much, One Love Tarantulas. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't even know. So they're called the Amazon Sapphire, like common name. I wonder if I should like play off that for this name. 
give them a good little mist um, on one side. That's probably a pretty heavy mist, but since they were just in shipping, I like to make sure that they have access to like a bunch of water. And then tonight, I will probably try feeding all of them. That's everybody, everybody made it here perfectly everybody looks amazing in their enclosures this little jumping spider oh my gosh you are so little don't get lost but yeah i'm super happy thank you so much one love tarantulas thank you so much tarantula cribs check them both out i will have them linked down below like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i'm in instagram use probably way too much as at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon website merch plushies everything it's linked down below i will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet pics